Warning. Challenge battle initiated. Hey everybody and welcome to Mana Conquer Rebels. I am Keat and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you what I think are the best decks for challenge battles. Now I'm like two level, well I guess I'm like nine or eight levels out for challenge battle system rankings. A Soul Taker Joel! This is slightly upsetting actually. It's not really someone you want to see when you're under level. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Uh, I'm going to have to pull this one out of my ass. Get some missiles out and just rotate them around. I think that's how we win it. Right? Banshee, that's an early Banshee, my guy. That's a really lucky rocket squad by me too, by the way. Uh, this first deck I have for you has uh, missile shocks, dogs, sling, and bread tank. And the airfield has a Borka, so this is CJ Borka. Rockets, you can hash out a conversation about why war is bad and I will just win the missile. See, I can't kill anything with these levels. So I ended up, I ended up just moving units around, which is why I hate challenge battles. I don't kill anything. I just block my opponent out and win missiles. That's all you can really do. It's just frustrating. It's a frustrating system, but it's what we got, so we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for you guys. Dogs, I know you're underleveled, but I need you to kill those. Dogs? Dogs? Any At, at any moment, this has been going on for... Oh my god, why are you pulling that back? Why would you even want to save that? Granted, apparently it's an absolute tank and I can never kill it. I'm gonna kill these dogs. They're not even attack dogs. They're cuddle pups. They're cuddle pups. I'm gonna kill my own cuddle pups. They're disgusting and useless. Damn dogs. Uh, excellent blocking with the bikes. Borka can take the pad though, and then we win the pad. No, apparently the game doesn't give two shits about me. I hate challenge battles. So let's continue doing challenge battles, everybody, because this is fun. I was thinking to myself, like, what is... What can I bring to the rivals table that no one's really doing right now? Like, I mean, you have streamers like Dre, and X. Why do they all have rapper names? I just thought about that. The best streamer is Demarcarius Huckinator Little Tay Tay Nuts. He is the most gangster OG rapper of all, all time. <laughs> I don't even remember what I just said. Let's just pretend I didn't say anything at all. Uh, we're gonna bring the Borka back out because eventually Borka's gonna win the game, right? He has to. That's what my deck relies on. Borka can kill things. Mind you, I can't really kill things. I kinda can, but I really can't. I mean, you know how challenge battles go. So eventually, Borka just does the work for me, and that's why this deck is one of the best underleveled decks. I mean, clearly, MG, you could argue, is the best underleveled deck. I really want these missiles and a Borka at the top right, because I think that seals it, and it's game one. Because that's gonna be difficult to get rid of. I don't think you can get rid of both of those things. Get him, Borka! This should be it. He needs to bring that Banshee down if he wants to take the missile back so I can block him out with this. Yep, I will take what I can get. Yeah, well, as I was saying, MG probably, arguably, the best underleveled deck, but it's also MG, so we're not going to go there. Is this the guy that BM emoted me when I lost a challenge battle? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to enjoy this. Let's scare them, boys! <laughs> Let's scare them! Sorry, the idea behind this deck and why it's such a good underleveled deck is because lag. Because I hate lag and I can't stand it. No, it's just that this is very unfortunate lag because I couldn't block that rhino out the way I wanted. Um, ideally, these scarabs need to be aggressive and they need to come forward. Um, my riflemen need to go to the top left, which you can never get to, and then I win the missile. But I am afraid of something, and it's probably the lag. But I just feel like I feel like he's doing something cheeky here. So Rhino often wins first missile, so we're just gonna let him take it. Uh, at least I can show you outs to this deck. This deck, by the way, is Militants, Lasers, Scarab, Buggy, Tick Tank. Because we are underleveled, so we need something with some HP. And Banshee. 
Damn it. All these stalls, I cannot move my units properly. This is really, I can't click on the rifles, god damn it. Alright, I'm just stuck on Tick Tank. Let's build those again. <laughs> All right, so let's try to not be on tilt from the lag and win this damn thing. I am in a, in a situation where I needed to advance or push. I feel like he did a tech switch or something. Was that not an awkward... Yeah, he switched to airfield. I was going to say, that was an awkward amount of time between units being built. Uh, if he played aggressive, arguably he could have beat this deck. This deck needs ground. It needs some kind of traction. He is not going to go for the double kill for some reason. He easily could have there, I think. Uh, is he double Harv? Yeah, I needed to see that. I don't want those militants anymore. Um, yeah, Ion Cannons. He's double Harv, Ion Cannon. This could actually be extremely good since my deck is a very camp, very campy deck. One out for this deck. If you can't do it with Tick Tank and Scarab alone to kill things, you have Kane to kill things. What is going on here? Game, are you BA? Okay. I <laughs> This is the best use of talent I've seen yeah, in 2023 and perhaps in 2024. Happy New Year, everybody. Oh, this is the best use of talent I've ever seen. I actually respect Q Money now because he's the best talent user I've ever seen, and that's quite impressive. He zapped three buggies. That's an unreplaceable amount of buggies, my guy. Oh, look, I have a buggy again. I think if we just dance out that Predator tank, we can get the Scarabs on here. The Scarabs will attack the Shocks, and then I just build more Scarabs for the Pred tank. Because Scarabs, they're absolutely amazing. I don't think one Scarab can kill a tank, though. That's kind of an issue. I cannot click my... I hate this name's like. I think he's going to take those Shocks, which, again, I'll just show you the outs to it. You use Kane to push them back. I hate lag, and I hate challenge battles. He just used an ion cannon on a scarab. I don't know if I've ever seen that. It's not the worst. Here you go, sir. I'm going to free up your pop cap. Now you can't be a little bitch when you lose the game. <laughs> what do you think dies first? The banshee at the top right or the buggy at the middle? Because I need this other banshee to be near both in case that happens. No, we're fine. We're absolutely brilliant. We win the game. You're the master of taking scarabs up the fertility hole. Nice levels, nice ion cannons. Good game, sir. Warning. Challenge battle initiated. Three, two, one. New objective available. Harvester ready to collect. All right, so we're going back to CJ Borka, so you can see it in action a little bit more when it's under-leveled. It should do you some good. You're a fucking bitch. Why would you do this? I argue, but I could run. Why don't you even have blockers for that? I could bring, bring to speaking. I'm upset. I am pissed. Challenge battles piss me off. On the back end of things, I could at least show you that this deck has an out, like a secret out, and that's double harvester Borka spam. Almost nothing beats double harvester Borka spam, except levels. I guess that's <laughs> something that beats Double Harv Borka Spam. It honestly kind of even dumpsters on Sling, so that's not really feasible. I don't want to spend a lot of units on defending that Harvester. He's not Solomon, so I don't really care if he has money. I don't necessarily care about this, I just want to go straight into Borka Spam. That's what's going to win me the game, so why not? I'm fine with this. We're gonna see what's back here. It is... Watch these dogs lose. Oh, well, you know what? He boosted it, so... Don't know if I agree on that boost or not. I need to get my rockets on there, but I bet you I dropped the block. I dropped the block. We can bring Slingshot out. This Slingshot unit here is a pretty good unit, guys. Oh, Borka vs. Orca? Borka vs. Orca. Oh, ball. get Borka. Get Borka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was worth it, man. It was worth it just to see that. Goodbye, Slingshot. That is one oppressive orca. It just doesn't care about the, the rocket troops. Doesn't care it's being slingshatted upon. It doesn't care. Levels are amazing. I love this game. It is so great. I can't stand levels, guys. I'm sorry, I'm trying to be like optimistic and happy about this one, but challenge battles bring out the worst in me. 
A lot of times I just get raffle stomped because you can't really you can't really do anything about it. You can almost not really defend uh, bike rushes even uh, when you're this under leveled. It's pretty sad. Uh, Borka, yeah. Do you think I can make it to that MG? I boosted it. Yeah, no, no, I just can't do it. This is his missile. This one's not the one, guys. This is not the one. You can't beat MG. MG's a better dick. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think we just maybe go for another Harvester and then double double Harv Borka along, which is what I wanted. I mean, it, it, it's kind of working, kind of not working. Can I finally kill this MG squad? No, you can't run it away, sir! <laughs> In fact, you're better off just leaving it packed up, because it probably wouldn't have done. Get him, Borka! Yeah, man, I need another Harv. I just want the, like, pop cap right now. Gotta rotate the Borkas. You gotta rotate the Borkas. See you later, MG Squad. Oh my god, the MG Squad just walked underneath the Borka as it was shelling. Do I have to repeat what I just said? The MG Squad walked underneath the Borka. This game is outstanding. I love it in every aspect. Why are you moving off the pad? That is not the play. That's not the one. You would have won the game. Oh man, that's upsetting. Nice MGs, nice levels, good game, sir. Let's go to the main event match. We have Die Grinder, Day Grinder? I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I'll say Die Grinder 13 from Odin's. They're the best uh, team, I think, even though I don't think they won RTL. But arguably, they're the best team. What do we got here? Yeah, this is fine. This is kind of a normal um, a Scarab game. Like, again, I'm using my Scarab meme deck because under levels. So, right, you see a 10 cost unit, you just don't make the Scarab. Right? So, there's no real loss here. Uh, no, we're fine. We just stay here. I think we, we tech switch into buggy here and then we win first missile. Right? Yeah, we don't really care about those. Uh, as fast as he can kill these rifles, I am a bit worried, so I'll just dance them. No harvester, not this time, buddy. We have a juggy. This is go so far going pretty well. I'm surprised that juggy didn't come out sooner. Does that seem weird? Maybe it's just me. So we're gonna have a tick tank planted and in play. Let's bring out some juicy scarabs just to- Oh ho 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 ho! If I had Oxana, that would have been splendid. Oh, that would have been tasty. Alright, they're gonna have to take a hit there. Oh, uh, let's just tech switch. Get that out of the way. Because I think I have a bad feeling. This underleveled Banshee basically does nothing. It kind of feels like old Banshee. You know, just with Raider. But it just feels so weak. I let him on the top right pad, which is a big mistake. I gotta get this around, but he blocks it with Seth! Yo, that is a good play. Harf block and Seth block to lock out my... Oh, that's that's actually smart. That deserves an emote. So the question here is how do we push the Giga Cannon user with levels? Uh, let's go for the Harvester first. It'll force his Giga Cannon back. Or he'll make lasers, which is okay. I can beat lasers. Uh, this Tick Tank is a liability now. I want the Popcat Freed, so we're gonna get rid of it. We're gonna bring the buggy up top so the Giga gets pushed up to the top. And then we're gonna zap it with Kane. We gotta chase it in with the rifles though. Because we need vision on that. Get out of here, Giga. We don't have much time left. Can we make this comeback happen? Why did I make a tick tank? To be to be completely fair, that was a total panic tick tank and a stupid play. <laughs> it's gonna accomplish nothing. But he doesn't have enough time to move that up. Or does he? Maybe he will kill it because of the level difference. I can just move the rifles up. No, no, we would have got that. We we got this. Nice levels. Nice giga cannon. Good game.
Guys, I hope you enjoyed this crazy deck session of what I consider the best underleveled decks because scarabs can kill things. That's the struggle being underleveled. You cannot kill things. Let me know what you guys think are good decks when you're underleveled. I'd be interested in hearing that. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. There you go, dual tib achieved because of goofy decks. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Let me know what you want to see next. Happy 2024 to you guys. See you in the next commentary.